Today's tutorial is on the Emerald Activities coloring book. Now, I'm sure you've played with other coloring books online. This one has click to fill features, but it also has some other ways you can edit your image. So, to get started, you're going to want to choose a page. Uh, these are the ones available in this particular coloring book. You can play with the ones that are available here, and some of the coloring books also have extra pages available in our market. So if you really like a coloring book, you might want to check and see what else is available for it. Clicking on this tool button will take you back to the options for your currently selected tools. Now your tools are like the ones in any other paint program type thing. You can make squares and circles and lines. Um, you can use the fill tool to uh, color things in your image. Uh, the brush tool lets you draw. The stamp tool will let you choose from the different stamps that are available. Again, there's more available in the market and if you purchase more they will show up down here. So I have the default stamps but I also have the Easter pack and the symbols pack. The symbols ones are pretty fun. Uh, so I can add some magic eight balls to my image. Uh, the eraser just lets you erase as you would expect. Um, so let's just clear that. As far as more sort of advanced things go, uh, I'm just going to color some of this so that I can demonstrate it to you a bit better. The color palette here is the same one that's available in our Magic Makers. So if you click on this drop down, it gives you other color sets that you might want. Ocean Reef is a pretty good one for coloring Easter eggs because they're kind of desaturated. Oh, sorry. Desaturated colors. Um, I think the Ocean Blues might have some good colors. And also the Jewel Tones would be a good one for decorating Easter eggs. Oops, got the bunny's tail. <laughs> by default you'll be on the rainbow palette. Okay, so here's our partially decorated image. Now if I wanted to go in and color some of these eggs, I'll choose a new color so it'll show up. Actually maybe a yellow. By default this is what your line is going to look like. It's kind of squiggly because I'm drawing with a mouse. If you are fortunate enough to have a tablet or bamboo type thing you'll be able to make it a little nicer line. Um, if I turn up the blur function then it'll give me sort of a soft fuzzy line which can be really nice for shading and decorating. Uh, I can also adjust the size of my brush over in the options there so I can have a, a much bigger um, brush stroke or a much smaller one. It's a little hard to see with the blur on, but that's actually a very fine line now, comparatively. Um, another slightly more advanced thing that you can do is if you have a shape, like this one here, for example, and you pick on, you pick flood fill instead of shape fill. Shape fill is going to fill the shapes that I drew in these coloring books. So I made you know, each of these little heads and bodies and things is a fill shape. Uh, flood fill, though, lets you draw shapes that you guys, um, or it lets you fill shapes you guys drew. So, for example, this little green circle, um, I'm going to fill it with a brown. So that's pretty good, especially in the freehand coloring book when you're trying to block out big shapes to color. Um, that's probably about it for the the features that are unique to this particular thing. Uh, print will let you you can print either the the blank image so that you can color it, or you can print a colored one to put on your fridge or give to someone. Uh, save allows you to save a copy of the image either to our gallery or to um, your home computer and clear will obviously let you start again so you can start a new image. One of the things that a lot of our users play with is that uh, the coloring book remembers your fills so if you change pages your old coloring will still be there so you can sometimes make some kind of neat effects by just doing 
a little bit of new coloring and leaving some of that uh, older coloring in the background. Oops, sorry, I'm on the wrong fill. So now I just have these, you know, green grass markings left on my boards, which might be kind of an interesting effect. All right, that's about it. Have fun coloring.